Hi, so uh, this is the ash display cabinet that I made in 2012 and um, um, as you'll see in the slideshow, uh, basically this was made from um, a basic carcass of ash with a frame and panel back. Um, the handles or doorknobs are, are made from ebony and of course it's got glass shelves. It's, um, it's made for displaying model soldiers and tanks and things like that, so quite a, a shallow spacing between shelves was needed. The shelves um, are supported by these ebony pegs which are made on the lathe and on the wood rat. And the glass is held in with this uh, quarter round beading which was nailed in. Um, there are magnets concealed in the carcass and also in the doors and those get a very good solid well almost solid shutting. Um, one of the problems I had was the door I got the hinging on the right hand door slightly wrong so you can see there's a slight um, change between the left and the right hand door here, this, this one is slightly down. I could probably modify it but um, I, I've never got around to it. Um, the um, other issues I had was just over excited sanding so I've removed some of the dovetail corners. Um, I'll show the dovetail corners in close up in a minute. Um, but uh, yeah, don't sand too much. It's one of the other problems that you can fall into as a, as a hobbyist at least anyway. Um, Another thing is in the back panel, this this piece perhaps should not have been put in. It's a, quite a large knot. It's I thought at the time it was quite nice, but at least according to some of the professionals that have given me feedback, that's perhaps not what you would normally do. Um, and also I think the direction of the grain is upside down, so these panels should have been around the other way. The, the panel is, is actually glued, glued in, if I remember correctly. It's actually quite thin, but the, the panels can move. They're just sitting in, in slots. And uh, what else? Oh yeah, the, um, the hinges. I followed the Robert Waring's Essential Woodwork book, and he asks or suggests to uh, angle the, the hinges but I'm not sure whether you actually have to do that maybe that's just the traditional method and the biggest mistake I made um, was when I routed the doors for the uh, beading you can see these um, styles have um, little patches here here and here on every side unfortunately um, I didn't grain match them quite as well as I would have liked and um, there you go, but I mean luckily it's on the inside so you don't see them. I could have made new doors I suppose, maybe I should have done, but as this was really a, a training exercise for me, um, I wasn't too bothered. The whole idea of making this really was well, A, to give my son something to put his, his tanks and soldiers in, and secondly, to give me, well this is the first project I've made with doors, and trying to make it to a reasonable standard, but um, yeah, you could also argue that the doors perhaps should have been inset in, in the frame of the carcass. I elected for this um, external setting. Um, but anyway, um, my son likes it, so that's all that matters really. Another thing is, um, if you're going to use glass in a project, particularly shelves, I would buy the glass first, because when you give them a, the dimensions for the glass to be cut to, they don't necessarily come back what you ask for, so I think I was extremely close on the tolerance. Some of these are a bit wobbly, they're okay, this one's quite stuck. Maybe my carcass is a little bit out, but anyway, I would suggest buying the glass first, and then measure the glass and make the carcass to fit. That, that would be my suggestion. I think that's all the problems that I had. Um, I'll just video a few close-up shots and you can see things in a bit more detail. 
Here you can see the top right hand side of the carcass and the dovetails created by the wood wrap. If I just move the camera up. Uh, the wood rat does a very good job. Very good fit. And these are the small ebony pegs which have a flat uh, which meets the glass but you'll see that in the slideshow. Now I've explained the project a little bit um, I think we'll take a look at the slideshow there's only photos I'm afraid it will be a uh, very quick load of photos showing the process of the making um, sorry there's no video clips uh, in 2012 I didn't take video at all um, so that's that's all we've got um, of the build. Um, but I hope you enjoy. I hope you learn something from it, and um, you might enjoy the wood wrap part, for example, which is quite unusual. Not many people use that that device, so um, it's quite a, a, an excellent router um, router table alternative, I would call it. Um, it's a bit like a milling machine, but anyway, you'll see. Um, maybe later on, I'll make a video about the wood wrap in a bit more detail and show how it works and how it cuts dovetails and so on. But until then, here we go, slideshow.
there you go, that's uh, my Ash display cabinet I made in 2012 when I was still um, learning on a very steep learning curve um, in, in my hobby. And um, yeah, there's a lot of things I can improve next time. I hope to improve, and I think I have improved since 2012. So anyway, if it helps you overcome any, any problems in your work, then hopefully that's, that's beneficial to you. Um, so there you go, it's my Ash Display Cabinet. Thanks for watching.